Welcome to the Applications Platform training videos from Codeless Platforms. Here are the objectives and approximate running time for this video. In the previous video, we created a report and chart for the customer object and a gauge for the order object. We will continue our training by creating a dashboard tab and designing the dashboard page. Let's begin on the Catalog Items page. In the sidebar, click on the New Menu link, select the A New Tab option and click the Create button. In the New Tab page, set the tab name as Dashboard, add the tab type as Generic, ensure Parent tab is set to None, and that Add to Applications Classic Guitars is selected. OK, now click the Save button. We now need to click the Application Selector and select App Settings from the drop-down menu. OK, now click the Edit button. The Classic Guitars page will display in Edit mode. Scroll down to the Tab section using the arrow buttons Reorder the tabs, so the Dashboard tab is the first in the list. And click the Save button. OK, let's return to the Classic Guitars main page. And the Empty Dashboard tab will display. Now select Design this page. In the Create area, drag a new section. And drop it just below the existing section. OK, let's repeat this so we have a third section. Now select the first section and in the property menu, change the section title to Reports. Set the style to Title with Border. And select the Collapsible option. OK, now change the section title of the second to Statistics. Set the style to Title with Border and ensure Collapsible is selected. And in the third section, name it Real Time Status. Set the style to Title with Border and again ensure Collapsible is selected. In the Available Components list, Locate the Report Link Fields section, then find the This Month's Customer Orders item. Drag the This Month's Customer Orders item and drop it on the Report section. In the Available Components list, scroll up and locate the Chart Components section, then find the Customers item. Drag and drop the Customers item onto the Statistics section. Select the Customer's Component and ensure the properties are set to Default Chart, Orders by Country. In the Available Components list, locate the Gauge Fields section, then find the Orders Invoiced item. Drag the Orders Invoiced component and drop it on the Real-Time Status section. OK, now click Save and the Dashboard tab will display with our configured report, chart and gauge. In the Report section, click on This Month's Customer Orders Report link to display the report. Expand and collapse the levels of the report to view the report features. OK, now select the Dashboard tab and in the Statistics section, Click on the Orders by Country chart. A filtered customer view will display, providing a drill down into the data represented in the chart. Once again, select the Dashboard tab. In the Real-Time Status section, you can see the Orders Invoiced gauge. You can manually refresh the data using the button, or it will be refreshed automatically every 5 minutes. And that's it for this video. 
we have created a new dashboard tab and designed the page to display the report, chart and gauge. This concludes exercise 5. We will begin exercise 6 by creating a role and editing role permissions. Thanks for watching.